Hello and welcome to special edition Fat or Future Prime Day. I'm Steve Williams with. Hi, and I am Justin Callahan. <laughs> we can do this. Stop I shopping us. for a minute so we can get down to business here. No, I can't. There's so many deals because today is our Fat or Future special edition for Prime Day. Uh, Prime Day it is. Yes. yes, we are very, very excited. exciting time. Lots of online shopping happening today. Less productivity in most offices. Eh, it's it's you just got to be efficient in it. You know, you got to get your lightning deal notifications in place ahead of time. That's what that's the, really the trick. Yeah, but the, the reality is you're not just shopping online at Amazon today, right? No, it's actually, um, you know, I, I guess the best way to say it is a lot of other retailers just definitely aren't taking uh, the fact that Amazon was just going to make their own holiday for shopping in the middle of July, kind of lying down. Uh, so they have all, uh, you know, to a degree in the years past, uh, had their own offerings or their own deals or sales. But this year definitely seems to be a tick up. Amazon um, has inspired everybody else. So we've got Best Buy has their Black Friday in July sale that was going on, and they actually started theirs over the weekend. Uh, Target has deal, their deal days, uh, that they called, and that started um, in on Monday with a few um, very interesting offers from them. And then, of course, you have your Prime Day. Uh, so the biggest challenge really is uh, just seeing where the best deals actually are and, and being most efficient for your dollar, that's for sure. Yes, so we thought it would be a great idea just to pick out three deals each and share them with you uh, during this special day. And hopefully you're going to spend a yes. little bit of time checking them out and hopefully we pick some things that you might be interested in. Yeah, for sure. Now, I mean, there's always those mainstays, right, that we have throughout mm -hmm. the year. Um, things that people just have that are either consumables or especially uh, some replacement for technology. Um, those are always a good bet in these. If you find a solid deal on uh, a battery backup or power strips or personal, one of my favorites is uh, Velcro brand uh, cable ties. You know, they they go on sale on occasion and I just pack my pick myself up another pack. But, you know, there are a lot of like those those mainstays, USBs, battery backups, anything power related, anything organization related. Uh, those have definitely a propensity. They'll pop up in their sales twice or three times a year, which is perfect. And um, I always definitely recommend to anyone that I talk to, just hold off, you know, wait until that next major cycle, whether it's Prime Day or whether it's Black Friday and uh, pick up your replacements then and there. Well, and this is one of the reasons other retailers can't ignore Prime Day because Amazon mm -hmm. sells so much more than just one category, right? Um, like you Absolutely. said, it, it doesn't matter if you're looking for household consumables, power tools, clothing, food, uh, they've got it all. So everyone kind of has to pay attention when they're doing something like Prime Day. Yep, that is very true. Um, it's, it's, a, it's an adventure. It definitely takes a little bit of sappiness these days. Um, and you got to you got to be prepared. You got to have all your tabs open and your resources and your tools. But do you want to do we want to just dive into the fun stuff? And, and I mean, sure. What our, yeah. what our yeah, let's, let's, let's talk about it. You want to kick us off with your three choices? Absolutely. So all I've right. got mine all lined up here. So I will screen share right now and so that everybody else can see here, too. Um, but first, we'll start off with my this. This is a little bonus, but the Velcro tabs. Um, I, I love them. I, I use them for cable tying, organization every day. Uh, pretty much everyone in the office rolls their eyes because if uh, I'm going on site somewhere, I'm bringing a pack of these cable ties with me. No fans. Oh, or no, they're, they're, they make life great. Keep things looking organized. They truly do. But but that's OK. That's that's you know, that's that's the serious one right now. If, if I had my way and I wasn't being responsible with money, this was my pie in the sky one, if you will. Um, but you might have heard about the Samsung Odyssey Neo uh, monitor. And so this is a gaming monitor, but this is literally like money is no object. It's the best monitor you can get. Uh, 240 hertz, one millisecond response time, full 4K. And it's literally this wide around your screen. Like, wow. I mean, you're going to have to start moving your neck back and forth to keep up. Um, but it's such a cool uh, monitor and it's actually the newest model that has actually been, it's, this is its lowest price it's been yet. And really? uh, one thing I did just want to show to everyone was um, there's a lot of resources out there 
definitely recommend uh, Camel, Camel, Camel. It has been a long time price tracker for Amazon products. You just put the link in there, uh, but you can actually see, for example, that monitor, it came out on Amazon uh, July last year. So it's been there for about a year and uh, you can actually see the price history of it and the fact that it hasn't been under seventeen hundred dollars uh, up until just this recently. So wow. very cool. Um, and it also gives you a good feeling, you know, if you're looking for something that you're getting a right, a good deal and not just you know, listening to the 30% off or saying, oh, yeah, that's definitely, you know, the cheapest price, anything. So, uh, that, I mean, at that size, that's roughly, what, three screens? I mean, three 20-inch monitors almost? Basically, like, three 20-inch monitors, right? But there's no barriers in between. It's all connected with the same, no lagging or no issues between them. Uh, I'm sure that's got to be... Cool and that would work Maybe really well things. with the new Windows 11 where you get the auto layout feature, right? Right. You can have <laughs> yeah, you can have so many windows on this thing. Let me tell you. I'm I mean, sure. from a gaming um, perspective, one millisecond and 240 hertz. That's pretty that's pretty much right. top of the line. And, and just imagine the productivity. So, you know, if you think that Justin needs to have one of these for the office, you should just uh, comment in the chat. Um, and uh, maybe Steve can post uh, a message below. <laughs> post the message below. <laughs> Justin's but, next monitor. Yeah. On to on to the more practical ones, though. The other two that I have were just like near a little near and dear to my heart, but but good options all around. Um, the second one is a Synology NAS. Um, this is a great little device. We've used them professionally, uh, personally. I have a few friends that have them. And cannot honestly cannot say enough good things about Synology. They are just the features and the settings and the stuff that they come up with, some of their apps that they have, it's just crazy. Uh, whether you're using it for a home plex media server or you're actually just want some redundancy, but you don't need a server in the office. I mean, this thing can pretty much do it all. And it's got two disk space, you know, so that you can buy, you know, five, ten. 16 gig or 16 terabyte drives and pop them in there and you've got a little bit of redundancy um, and full use of all the apps, including Azure Sync, Office 365 Sync, uh, replication between two Synologies. All that is, is a little bit of a setup away. So it's definitely a good deal. Um, and, and, and I thought it was very interesting that, you know, again, just how other retailers are not taking Prime Day lying down, you know, that they're, you know, wanting to compete this is definitely a very prominent, this is a very popular model. So this has to be one of Amazon's more, you know, up and coming, you know, visible deals for a, for a NAS unit for something in their technology section. And uh, B&H Photo and Video, uh, which is a smaller online retailer, they've actually got the same model for $5 or $6 less. So you saw they just, they wanted to kind of get some of that spotlight on them as well. Um, and they're picking their battles. So. And it's in stock? And it's in stock, so you never know. You can, I, we've definitely seen some of those models not be in stock, so the fact that they have it on Prime Day and in stock is really a good incentive. And as you said, we've been right. uh, using Synology for, man, uh, probably near a decade, I would say. And uh, oh, yeah. their software just keeps getting better and better. So it doesn't matter if you're hooking it up to your home network or to an office or you want to use it with the cloud, uh, auto integration for a lot of things. And, and a great, just a great feature set with that product. Now, it doesn't come with hard drives, right? It does not come with hard drives, so you will have to pick up two hard drives. But funnily enough, guess what else is also on sale on Prime Day? <laughs> hard drives. <laughs> so <laughs> you can buy some hard drives. And probably if you um, scroll and, down, and it's it's there normally bought with this, and they'll probably have some Western Digital Reds or something like that, right? Let's, let's oh, see what I'm, happens. I'm sure they'll have them somewhere, but um. I actually did see, uh, I'm not seeing any of them come up right now, but I did see that Western Digital Red uh, eight te 18 terabytes were going on sale a few places for $300, which is wow. nice. I mean, uh, hard drives have been really hard to come by at a reasonable price for the past year or so, about two years now. And uh, that's where they're finally starting to nub back down to reality. So um, some good options there for sure. That's great. Uh, so what's your number three? So number three uh, is a brand that's definitely near and dear to me. Um, so I love Anchor products. I think they are definitely one of the shining lights on Amazon. 
Um, they are actually, they're very interesting company uh, if you're ever curious in that kind of stuff. Um, but they, you know, they basically came up through Amazon. Like they are a tri like they are historically an Amazon marketplace uh, seller. Um, and they've built a very large business out of that and they've grown beyond and all of that. So very, but very interesting business story aside. Um, they just came out with a line a couple months ago for uh, called MagGo, which is uh, basically MagSafe compatible for any iPhone Apple users out there. And just kind of a visual of their design or their thought process. I just love it. It's basically just a little, it's just a little globe um, that has that magnetic charger right on the front for easy access. But then on the back, they've got abundance of ports. So they've got three uh, regular AC outlets, they've got two USB-C ports, two USB-A ports, and they've got 65 watt power delivery uh, in that. So if you have like a, a smaller MacBook, um, or if you've got, you know, even some of the more lightweight like uh, HP Elite books and such, uh, they only need 65 watts and you could actually power them right through here. So very much kind of like streamlining your desk and, and make things just looking nice. Pair them with some of those cable ties and um, <laughs> it's just a. It's it's just a cool little thing, and you know, at a hundred dollars, that's kind of a hard conversation. But at you know, thirty percent off, that's a pretty solid deal for something that's you know, essentially streamlining your entire desk right there. I mean, it's almost a power strip, really. Yeah, it's it's it is. It I mean, really, at the end of the day, right? It's just a really nice power strip. But um, but there's definitely something to be said for for visual and organization for sure. And, and I think that's where Anchor understands that. They, they always use like um, a lot of theirs are like metallic, you know, metallic edgings and things like that for that little bit of visual. I love their before and after picture there, right? It's good. Right. It's good, good <laughs> Not <snail> subtle <laughs> at all. Yeah, make <laughs> this look ter as bad as possible. So. Um, with yeah, with some of them not even plugged in and such. So, but yeah, so those those are my three items. What about you, Steve? I know you've got some good ones. Uh, I've got three of my own. Uh, just did want to mention that you know if you didn't know this, you know Amazon. We've talked I think in previous Fatter Futures about Amazon. I think you know buying Twitch, but they have a huge amount of live mm -hmm. streaming going on right now. So if you're not sure what you want, they probably have a channel for you. Whether it's makeup, fashion, electronics, best deals. Uh, they have hundreds of shopping channels running right now, um, but I picked out a couple deals to share. And and for my first one, I had to go with tech as well. I mean, I couldn't resist the Samsung 55 inch 4K QLED frame is on sale. Um, I don't know while I'm talking, maybe I'll, I'll throw this link in and you can put this into your camel site. Let's see what kind of deal uh, that was. Um, but, you know, it's a pretty okay. cool offer. Um, the frame, if you're not familiar with, has customizable bezels, so you can make it match your house uh, with different bezels. It's flush to the wall, so it's flatter than you know really any other TV you can get. Uh, and it has this kind of art mode where it can go through and either you know with your own photos or out art that you can download, display it. It even comes with this matte mode, so it can kind of soften that appearance of being a digital screen to look more like a painting. And they even have some paintings that will have the, um, you know, the the canvas kind of border set inside, so you can, um, you know, have that framing look as well. Uh, so it's very cool when it's not being used as a picture frame. It is a TV, so a fully capable uh, TV that that you can watch your shows on just gives that multi-purpose. This is great in the office as digital signage, uh, great at home uh, for for that, you know, having that centerpiece that isn't necessarily a TV with an off screen all the time, taking up that blank spot on your wall. Great deal, normally $1,600. And I can say I was in Best Buy this weekend, saw it for $1,699. And see this at $1,197, uh, that is definitely a good discount. What did you find? Can you put that in there? What does it say? Yeah, so it's very interesting. It actually it looks like this device was uh, just came on to Amazon basically for Prime Day. Uh, it's oh. only been on the market or uh, on the website since June 25th this year, and it actually hasn't fluctuated in price. So that 16, uh, that $1,600 is, you know, all that is showing as an option. Nice. So this is a yeah. good deal. Awesome. Well, my second one, uh, you know, again, 
staying in the tech field is definitely gadgets. Uh, Amazon has a lot of their devices on sale. Uh, you can see the Echo on the Go devices. This is your ability to take Alexa with you wherever you're traveling around. And and the Buds have been out for a little bit, and they introduced their hands-free car uh, um, uh, device that lets you put Alexa in your car if you don't have that capability. But I had to point out the glasses today because I just thought, you know, something that's normally $249 on sale for $99, and now you can literally be walking down the street and remind Alexa to put that extra food item on your shopping list, um, make a call, uh, do whatever you need to just by, you know, talking and your glasses picking it up. These are prescription frames, Justin. You can actually get lenses made. So you just walk into your lens crafters and, you know, say, I need some prescription frames. And then while you're doing that, say, Alexa, bring me bacon. And then you're going to have bacon by the time you get home. I mean, that just, that sounds like a win. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. Uh, I mean, you can, you know, pretty much think of all the different automations you can do. Uh, lights on, lights off, opening doors, unlocking doors, checking things, getting uh, information, uh, all that without, you know, having to use your hands and uh, needing anything extra. So pretty cool. Again, a great deal. And if you're just curious about this kind of tech, I mean, you can't find a better entry point to test something out and try it out than $99, I would think. Well, and that's the thing, right? I mean, is that sometimes, especially, you know, especially right now when things might be a little bit tight, you know, looking for gadgets or just like that glimpse of the future, you know, there's a lot of times where, okay, well, that's not practical at $250, but at $100 to just play around with something and get that idea, you know, that would be, that would be absolutely something that you could do and, and would be worth trying out. Yeah, I think you're, you're pretty, you're pretty much, and I know no risk zone, right? Um, right. So. And, and I don't know if, uh, you know, Google's come back to their Google technology with the Google Glasses, but this definitely, I would say, if this was a hot item today on Prime Day, that might send a message to Google. Right. People still so, like the glasses. You never know. So like uh, my last item, uh, like your Velcro, it's just more of a fun one. But coming up uh, at 6.30 this evening, this keyboard's going to go on Prime Day. And this is a gaming keyboard. And it's not your usual type of keyboard. Uh, it comes with the RGB lights. Uh, macro buttons for custom programming. You know, you want to run certain Excel formulas or whatever, kick off some uh, uh, regular keystrokes to your windows. You can program buttons to do that. Just a very different looking, futuristic uh, looking keyboard that will should be probably around $30 once the uh, Prime deal kicks in this evening. I like the style of those keys. I mean, it looks like halfway between a mechanical keyboard and like an alien craft console you know, that you're going to upload your spaceship. And it comes with this uh, detachable wrist rest. You can see it uses a magnet to hold it in place. So that definitely helps for getting it out of the way or cleaning. Uh, you can easily remove that. Well, and, and you just mentioned too, that was something I don't think we've come across yet at, since we've been talking, but some deals, uh, for example, like the Anchor products or something are actually Prime Day wide, right? So for the full 48 hours or 36 hours or whatever uh, the length of Prime Day is, that deal is available until it basically gets sold out. But deal, some deals like this are actually time sensitive. So they'll go over for a very specific period of time that you can have that discount, right? Yep, and, and that's because they know there are going to be certain hot sellers that they'll just run out of stock of, so they typically will time mm -hmm. slot some of those, and those are your uh, kind of lightning deals. Right. A little bit of urgency applied to it, too. Oh, I got I got to get it before somebody else grabs it. Yeah, yeah. Well, definitely, if uh, you've got a gamer in your house for Christmas, uh, this is a good gift, mm -hmm. or if you're just looking to upgrade your own keyboard, add some color and spice uh, into your desk. <laughs> you know, just get all Christmas shopping done before August. That's that's the real that's the real pros, dude. So so while I was talking, how many items did you put into your cart? That's what we have to know. <laughs> how many did I put in my cart, or how many am I actually going to buy? That's the real question. <laughs> that's true. It's it's that's the fun part. It's kind of like the next step. Like if you went window shopping just to look, but kind of you can mm -hmm. window shop and keep throwing things in your cart, and then you get there to check out, you can say, oh yeah, I really don't need that, and you start deleting things, right? For sure. And I, I love even just you know, floating through those lightning deals, you know, because you can actually put notifications on them, too. 
So you, especially if you have the app on your phone, you just will get a little pop up and you're like, oh, yeah, that was cool. OK, how much is it? No, that's not worth it. Or, oh, that's that's really great. I'll, I'll buy that for 20 bucks. Yeah, so that's a good balance of it's true. It's, there's a good balance of window shopping versus actually getting the deals. But uh, I always like to recommend definitely, you know, use your resources. You're not operating in a void. Double check your prices, because obviously the incentive from all of these people are you know, making you feel like you got a great deal um, and you just want to be cost conscious and be aware of, you know, that you are definitely getting a solid deal for whatever item you purchase. For sure. For sure. Absolutely. Well, I think that'll wrap up today's episode. Thank you for watching. Be sure to hit subscribe and like and post any comments. We'll always answer back to your messages. My name is Steve Williams. I'm Justin. Have a wonderful Prime Day. Until next month. Bye.